there is a history of abstraction on the prairies. And I am very aware of that history and um, I'm working within that history and I'm hoping that my work also expands that history. So that's the root um, attachment uh, through painting to this place. And this place, Saskatchewan, and the prairies in particular, I think are a critical component of the work that I'm doing. Now, you may not necessarily see landscape in this work, which is fine. And it's certainly not thought of landscape that is in that literal a way. What um, I do see in the landscape via color, however, um, is that we have a huge depth of field here. I mean, we can see for miles into the distance. And color here is just clear and transparent and clean and huge in terms of depth of field. Tetrachroma number one um, is in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum, right? And it's using uh, an ultraviolet, violet, and yellows. Um, and it was trying to uh, work through the relationships be between those two complementary colors. And what I was interested in doing at that period in, in time in terms of color abstraction was taking the edge away from um, the paintings, the hard edge. A lot of Canadian abstraction, including abstraction on the prairies, has been done um, in color um, using hard edge lines. And I just thought, well, what would happen if I took the edge away? Color is unstable. Um, it's not a stable entity, it's an unstable thing. And if it comes into an out of existence without the edge, let's see what happens.